Okay, so I was requested to make a video on this little novelty clock. This is a family heirloom, essentially. My great-grandpa passed this down to my mom, and then my mom passed it down to me. It's a little novelty clock. It has a German movement, and it's in the style of a schoolhouse clock, which is also sometimes called a short drop. I used to call this style a drop dial, and that's not correct at all. But we all make mistakes, so. There's your look at the movement. It runs for about 30 hours on a full winding. And it has a recoil escapement. These movements were not designed to keep time. They were simply designed for the novelty of having a really small mini clock. If you tried hard enough, you probably could get it to keep time for maybe about a day. Maybe even half a day, and then it would either gain or lose. I've tried before with these, but they're not really designed with accuracy in mind. My Jay Angsler actually shares this movement. I feel like this was more of like a kit. You would get the movement purchased separately, and then you would either get a case separately, or you would make your own case. So there's a possibility that this case was homemade. And I usually leave these novelty clocks off because when they're all going all together, they can be quite loud. So I hope that helped out. If you'd like to see all of their movements, I'll go ahead and show them off now, actually. Except this one. I've already shown this one in a separate video, which you can find here if you really want to. So we'll start with this one. Now, if I bring it on down here, it comes off like so. uses a movement that's just like the one in the arrow schoolhouse clock except this one's marked J Anxler J Anxler and it has the eyes of course for the owl that move back and forth these guys need a lot of oil to get running smoothly but that is a recoil escapement And this one here is genuinely unmarked. I don't just call things unmarked without knowing for sure that it's unmarked. This is just not marked anywhere. And usually when I'm talking about this one, I say that it's newer because you may be able to tell it has black plastic gears. It is still a brass movement, but those are black plastic gears and I think this movement like the rest of them is also riveted so these are for novelty not quality it uses a recoil escapement just like the rest of them very thick pallets there though you may be able to see I don't know why they decided to make those two plastic but then the rest of them were still brass and I would have expected probably a plastic mainspring. So that's an interesting design choice on this manufacturer's part, but I only know it was made in Germany. I don't know who the actual manufacturer is. And just like before, this one has a cover that's similar to Jay Anxler. So this could be a Jay Anxler, but hard to say course just like the other one comes up here on the just trying to line it up there there we go hangs up on the wall by a little nail and then the pendulum slips on 
like so. Oh, it's a bit finicky. There we go. Yeah, and this one doesn't keep time either. Uh, none of these are really designed to be accurate timekeepers. So, whenever I run them, I I don't really care about whether they keep time or not because it's just for the novelty. This one's probably my favorite because I really like owls. I think owls are cool. But yeah, I hope that helped and I hope you found that interesting. This one is probably the most interesting, but like I said, you can go watch a separate video on that once again here. Or, well, that was there earlier, but you know. There, there's a little card. It's like an eye with a circle. You can click on that and it'll lead you to that video. So yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. <laughs>